Every three minutes, someone develops dementia. With hundreds of thousands of people in the UK living with the condition, there is a desperate need for more research into diagnosis, care, preventions and treatments. Now is a critical time, with more groundbreaking research studies getting underway to tackle the diseases that cause dementia. But it is not just researchers that will be responsible for the breakthroughs in dementia research. Like Morag and John DeWale, you too can be part of that journey. Morag was diagnosed with a type of Alzheimer's called posterior cortical atrophy. It was her husband John who first noticed that something was wrong. The penny dropped with me when one day Morag was in the kitchen and the clock wasn't working in the office and I said, can you tell me the time? And um, she couldn't actually read the clock properly. I started um, crying because I, 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 I just couldn't understand why I couldn't do it. I mean, I knew something was wrong with me, but I couldn't put my finger on it. Morag is volunteering to help researchers gain a better understanding of dementia. She travels with John to the hospital every six months. But being involved in research can take as little or as much time as you want. For Morag and John, getting involved in research was an easy decision. I felt quite open about it. Yeah, I felt, why not? Right? And it's so important, you know. I think it's almost your duty to try and kind of help and, and just give as much energy and information to help find a possible future cure for dementia, really. Without people like Morag and, and equally John, her husband, um, who, who comes with her and accompanies her and takes part in the, in the research in that way, we couldn't be doing clinical research. So we need to move from uh, the bench to the bedside and to that we need volunteers uh, without whom our research simply wouldn't be possible. I feel better for actually getting involved. I really do. I, it's one because it's a, a lovely group of people that you get to to meet and mix with. Um. You feel as though you've accomplished something, don't yes, you? Yes, I feel yeah. as though I'm part of yeah. what is wrong with me. I, I'm, I'm there. Trying with to get it, it across to the doctors and stuff. Yeah. Anyone entering research is doing so voluntarily. That can opt out of research at any stage if they don't feel happy to continue or their circumstances changing. And importantly, that would not interfere with the normal care that they're given. The trip to the hospital today has seen Morag take part in memory and thinking tests along with a brain scan. To make sure that the results of these studies are reliable, they often have strict entry criteria. This means that not everyone will be eligible and it may take a while to find a study that is right for you. But there are plenty of other opportunities to help and you don't need a diagnosis of dementia to play a role. In many different ways people can get involved. Patients of course can give up their time and be research participants but also both patients and carers are able to um, join advisory panels or perhaps attend focus groups. Uh, we could help the design of a research questionnaire for example. Focus groups like this one bring together patients, carers, researchers and charities to share their knowledge and experiences of dementia. Their unique insight ensures research studies are designed around patients and carers, putting them at the heart of research. Focus groups can also advise on ongoing studies and champion the need for more research. The more we can learn about these devastating diseases that cause dementia, the more we're able to improve quality of life, to provide better care and to find better treatments. Everyone has their own personal reasons for getting involved in research. Whether you have experience of dementia in the family or simply interest in the progress being made, whatever your motivation, you can help make a difference.